Hello and welcome. Today we are going to set up the Orion 250i2 EV welding system with the Janome CNC system. So to get started, first thing we need to do is attach this to your table. This is what your microscope uh, and uh, touchscreen holder um, are going to mount into. So to do that, we just slide this onto the table and then we'll screw this screw on to tighten things up. So right there, put this little block in and we go under the table. So we use the Allen wrench uh, to tighten that to the table and we do that like this, tighten it up and we are good to go. Then this will come in the box as seen. Um, you will need to put the covers on, those will be in a separate package, but these are your eyepiece covers, go ahead and put those on. Slide this into here and then now you are ready to go. From here you can put on the touch screen and this is where you will make all the settings for your welding. And that just slides into the back, like so. Very easy. Um, from here, it's time to start connecting cables. So first, uh, this is the power box that powers um, the touchscreen unit up here, okay? So in, in that box of connections, you have your power cable. And the power cable connects in here. And then for convenience sake, we have an extension cord here. And we'll plug that in. And the reason we have this up here is in order to power the CNC system. So we'll get that to, to get we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. Next, we need to run this cable into the back of the touch screen. Um, that is very simple. Okay, so I've moved this so that we have a better view. Uh, this is, a, let's see here, a 10 pin connector. And as you can see, there's 10 on the back here. Connect that like so. And run the other end into the power box down here. And that is going to give us power. So next, we're going to connect our argon tubing. Now, as you can see, we have a splitter on here because we're actually going to have to run a tube to our argon tank and then a tube to the weld head on the CNC machine. So it'll come like this with your splitter. Just put that into the argon. Connect your other tubing. This will go down to the tank. And then there's one other tube that comes from this system that we'll connect here and we'll do that in a minute. Um, next, this is the cable that is going to connect to the power supply for the CNC system. We'll connect to the other half in a minute, but this part here, which is a three pin uh, trigger, goes into the port right here for uh, called trigger on the, on the touch screen here. So we'll connect this, and then we'll move all this out of the way for the other parts that we're going to connect when we get to that. Um, there's one, I'm going to leave the system like this so that we can connect a couple other things, but I just need to move it a little bit. Now, like I said, we have another tubing for argon gas. Now, the rest of the connectors that are going to be in here, they're all right here on the system. And they run through this uh, nice cable mounting si or routing system uh, and come out down here at the bottom. Okay, So you have the rest of your cables right here. And as I pull these up, you'll see a couple different ones. Um, we'll start with this. Um, this will go plug into the port right here that says um, accessory. So we plug that in. And then you have your negative and positive cables that connect to the back here in the negative and positive ports. So I'm going to put those on right now. Okay, so as you can see here, we connected the spade connectors for our positive and negative. Those screwed in right here on the positive and negative ports. Um, and then we will add our gas. So this is the gas tube from the weld head. And that connects here into the port I was talking about for your gas tubing. And then that's everything 
for this part of the system. Something that you should know, a couple things. One, uh, you'll want to do some cable management, maybe get some zip ties and move those out of the way. Um, and then also, this system here, uh, this is an upgrade right here. This is a microscope, uh, and it comes with a pulse arc welding stylus. Okay, You may need it, you may not. If you're using that upgrade, the pulse arc welding stylus plugs in here, you route it down into the stylus holder here, you're able to look through the microscope and do pulse arc welding. Um, so if you have that upgrade, uh, follow the links in the video to, to see how to use and set up that part of the pulse arc welder. Okay, the cable that we plugged into the accessory port, uh, it looks like this, you have a little black box, uh, lighter color cable on this side, and there's actually two dark cables that come off to the other side. The one that we plugged into the accessories port, and then this one which plugs into the shutter port. Okay, now just a minute ago we plugged a cable into the accessory port on the back of the touchscreen here. That cable looks like this. You have a little black box, on one side is a light colored cable, on the other side there's two dark cables. One that goes into the accessory port, and then one that goes into the shutter port. You, you can't mix these two up because the one that goes into the shutter port will not fit into the accessories port. So that's how you know which one goes where. So I'm going to plug that into the shutter port. It's on the back. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. And then like we said, this is going to go to the power supply of the um, CNC system. Now we want to plug, while we're over here with this side of the system, we want to plug in the CNC. So that's, like I said earlier, why we have this up here, this extension cord. So we will plug that in. Now we're able to uh, power the CNC and power the welder. So now we're going to set up this side. Uh, this is the power supply uh, for the CNC. Um, this box, these will come in two boxes, and this is, uh, this is all the parts from those boxes. First, we have this and uh, you will plug this into AC power, but then you have to connect it to this white box here. And the way to do that, you will connect this in front right here. So what we need to do is unscrew the, the, this little glass plate off, and we'll connect the red into the positive and the black into the negative. That's the top and bottom, or sorry, the top two screws right there. So I'll do that right now. Okay, now we have the light cable that comes from powering the uh, touch screen, okay? So we're going to come this over, bring this over, and connect it here to the white box. And that plugs in the bottom port right here, okay? So we'll plug that in and tighten up the support screws here, like so. And then we can set this cable out of the way. Same with this one. And... Next, we will do our emergency stop. So this comes down here into the bottom. So push that in and then screw it on. Next, we have power. So like this. And then you will connect that to AC power, along with the other ones. Now, from here, we have, like I said, the cables running through the cable management system here. They come out the back, and we need to connect them to the ports on the front here. Each one of these is labeled, okay? So one of them says MY on it, and you'll connect that into the port that says MY. All of those just snap right in, so I'll do that right now. Okay, next we have the pendant and the control box. The pendant, uh, sorry, the control box plugs into the middle unit, or the middle connector here, and the pendant plugs into the top. Now, the pendant is generally used for setup. Uh, it can be used for uh, actual welding process, but generally for setup. Uh, now, both the pendant and the control box, if you're using a, a different way of running the system, maybe a computer or another way, 
uh, you can plug these in so that it uh, allows the system to correctly work. So that comes in the box. For the example of today um, and right now, to do some test welds here in a minute, we are going to set up with the in the control box. The pendant, uh, sorry, the control box plugs into the middle unit or the middle connector here, and the pendant plugs into the top 